Warzone Season 3 graphic settings. Today we're gonna discuss which graphic settings I'm using and why I use them. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so we're here in our graphic settings right now. So first off, I'm using display mode full screen borderless. Why do I use full screen borderless? The reason why I use full screen borderless is because I usually alt tab a lot while I'm streaming. I used to use full screen before, but the problem with that was I sometimes get dev errors while alt tabbing. So that's why I switched to full screen borderless and ever since that, I never got a dev error anymore while alt tabbing. However, if you want to maximize your frames per second, you may want to use full screen mode as that will give you the maximum FPS. Let's move on. My render resolution is 1414p, but I use 80% of it. Why do I use 80% of it? It's because when I use 100% in 1440p, I kind of feel that my FPS is too low. So I've just set it to 80%. So as you can see, if I move this to 100%, I get 1414p. However, if you don't have a 2K monitor or 1440p, just go use 9020 by 1080 Then I use aspect ratio automatic, sync every frame v-sync, disabled. Then custom frame limit custom, here's my settings. Then I've set my NVIDIA highlights to disabled since I'm not recording any of my gameplay through NVIDIA highlights. Then my NVIDIA reflex low latency is enabled plus boost. I'm not really sure what's the use of it, but I just left this at enabled plus boost. Display gamma is at default, streaming quality normal, texture resolution is at low, texture filter and isotropic low, particle quality low, bullet impacts and sprays are enabled so I can see my awesome sprays. On demand texture streaming disabled, cache spot shadows enabled. But if you think your PC is already using too much RAM, then and you can just leave this at disabled as well as the cache sun shadows then particle lighting low direct x-ray tracing disabled ambient occlusion disabled screen space reflection disabled then film strength is at 1.00 and i'm not using the nvidia dlss why because i don't like the graphics it's giving me although i set it to the quality setting because it adds some sort of anti-aliasing which you can see i usually leave off and in terms of fps it doesn't actually make a big difference when i use the quality setting however with ultra performance and performance it gives you a slight fps boost in my experience but the graphics are horrible so i just suggest to leave this at off and then here you can see my anti-aliasing setting is off. So like I said earlier, I don't like any anti-aliasing because it kind of makes all objects smooth like in this image here. And for me, it kind of makes it more difficult to spot out enemies rather than when I have to set to disabled like here. But that's just a personal preference of mine. But this can also give you more frames per second if you leave this at off. Then we have depth of field disabled, word motion blur disabled, weapon motion blur disabled, film grain 0.00, then dynamic resolution at disabled. And and dynamic resolution frame target 60 and since this can also affect your frames per second I'm gonna show you here my field of view I'm using 120 so as you can see it's giving me the widest field of view which you can get in the game so the advantage of using the biggest field of view available is that you can see more around your corners so now I'm using 120 but if I switch to 60 or something lower than 120 you can see that my field of view is super narrow. So I get a lot of questions also from console players normally, and they ask me, why are you moving so fast? So actually, I'm just moving as fast as anybody else. But because on console, your field of view is limited, it seems like as if you are super slow. But in reality, it's just the field of view that's different. So let's move around at 60 field of view. So it seems super slow and sluggish since everything is zoomed in, right? Everything is super zoomed in. But if I change this to 120, you can see here in the background how it zooms out. See how, see how it zooms out in the background, here in the image. If I move this to 120, you can see much more right now and everything seems super fast. 
and that's because you see a lot of more around your corners. Which gives you also an advantage, since you can see more of your screen and therefore spot enemies much faster. So let's move this back to 80 for example. So right now we can see this signage right here. And let's move this to, let's change this to 80. So 80 field of view is actually the standard for PS4 and console. So this is what usually console players see. So this is what console players usually see. So as you can see, we can't see this sign anymore, which is here at, on our left. So that's a huge disadvantage to console players and a huge advantage on PC since you don't have this FOV slider on console. So it makes a big difference. The only disadvantage though of using a high field of view is that it may affect your frames per second since you're displaying more of your surrounding. Then I'm using brightness 58.20, then color type disabled. I'm using minimap shape squared, minimap rotation enabled. Then here in telemetry, you can display your frames per second counter on on top of here the server latency your gpa temperature packet loss and everything else and lastly i'm using ads field of view affected which i'm gonna discuss in another video so i guess that's it for my graphic settings but again this all boils down to personal preference you can change these settings however you want i just wanted to show you my settings because i've been getting a lot of questions on my graphic settings on my general settings and maybe this can also help you so thank you thank you everybody for watching please drop a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more thank you for watching and as always ggs and peace see ya